Ellen McCauley of Pray It Up in Syracuse, New York. Now we're going to talk about how to eat healthy when you're super busy. Because so often people think it takes a shorter amount of time to call the pizza delivery guy to wait for him to drive there with the pizza than to go to your fridge and make a healthy salad with chicken on top. I have a stopwatch and I'm more than happy to go to your house and time you while you're waiting for that delivery guy to come with the pizza while you're making that salad and I have a guess that you can make the salad in a faster time than that pizza can get there. But the thing is, you have to have the ingredients. So you do have to make the time to go to the store. And we are so blessed. I mean, there are people in, in, uh, in countries that have to drive miles and, or, or, or wait in huge lines. We can go to Price Shop, we can go to Wegmans, we can go to Tops, we can go anywhere we want. We can stop there on the way home from work. There's no huge lines. I mean, if we've got to wait in line behind two people in the checkout, we're like, two people? Can't you open more registers? I'm waiting here. We, we're so impatient. So what do you do when you think we're too busy? to eat healthy because we sacrifice our health and then we're less effective, less productive, and then we have to be even busier trying to make up. Have you ever been like so unhealthy that you're like laying around all day and the next day all the things you didn't do the day before still have to be done? It's all about these three things that so many people hate. Preparation, strategy, and balance. One of the tips they give is to become a bulk master. You have to buy good freezer containers. You have to buy the super duper quart freezer bags. And you have to be, we, we have cauliflower rice. We probably have 10 bags of cauliflower rice in our freezer right now. Who's got a freezer at home? Anybody? All right, who doesn't have a freezer? Everybody's got a freezer. Some people don't have freezers? <laughs> well, in the refrigerator, I don't mean a standalone. I mean any, pick a freezer, any freezer. You got freezers. You buy these things, and guess what? You put them in there, and they last a long time. You can buy little pieces of diced up onion, so you don't have to chop onion. You get them at Price Shopper for a couple bucks a bag. Peppers, everything. And you might say, I like fresh better. So do I, but if you're not cutting up fresh, frozen's better than, than pizza. And you'll say, well, I can put it on my pizza, can I? Let's, let's not say that. <laughs> also, when I hard boil eggs, I hard boil a dozen, a dozen. They're in the fridge, you want a hard boiled egg on a salad? And I'm gonna ask people not to chat when I'm giving the presentation, thank you. When you have hard boiled eggs, you can put it on a salad, you can eat it plain, they're done. Don't want a hard-boiled egg and then have to wait for it to be hard-boiled. Do it ahead of time. Also, I mentioned the storage containers. So many people buy like a steak and then they put it in the freezer, in the package. Now, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to take it out of the package, wash it, put it in a Ziploc hardcore freezer bag, then freeze it. Because if that flimsy little wrapper from the store gets a hole in it, which is easy to do in a freezer, you can get freezer burn. So you're wasting your freezing. So don't waste time or waste money throwing these packages in the freezer. Just take a little prep time to put it in a baggie. Also, uh, when you have the storage containers, make sure you know where the lids are. Because sometimes people go a little crazy. Oh, where's that lid? Be organized. This article rec recommends a lot of stainless steel containers. This woman takes a stainless steel container to work with her lunch. In it, she's got hard-boiled eggs, sweet potato, raw veggie, little olive oil, and some protein like sausage or salmon, all in one container. That sounds delicious to me. I would eat that. Sounds good. Also, slow cooker. Who's got a slow cooker? I love the slow cooker. Love it. We put pork in there. We pull it. And you don't have to have honker barbecue sauce with that high fructose corn syrup. You can just have pulled pork and then put Frank's hot sauce on it, which is all natural and, and calorie free. And it's delicious. So then you can have pulled pork. 
separate. You can have it on a salad. You do not have to have pulled pork on a bun. There's no rules that say you have to have it on a bun. But you could put these things, meat in a, ever have like chicken in a, you could have pulled chicken, you can have anything in, in that slow cooker or crock pot. Also have healthy snacks on the go. Now what I'm noticing is that people are taking a 300 calorie healthy bar, like a Kind bar or a uh, Kashi bar, and they're having them as snacks like two or three of them. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah, they're healthy, but they're really, like when I have a Lara bar, 220 calories, I have that as a meal replacement. Mm -hmm. I don't have it as a snack. So if you're eating three healthy meals a day and you want a snack, I wouldn't do a 200, 300 calorie uh, bar of any kind because it's too many calories. But have them handy. Yesterday I had a meeting and I didn't have time for lunch because I worked through lunch, but I had that Lara bar handy. So that really got me through. Also strategically shop. I talked about the frozen veggies. You have the, the meals. Apples last forever. And make homemade applesauce this time of year. You don't have to put sugar in it. We eat it with a little cinnamon. The apples are sweet enough, especially if you get Honeycrisp. <laughs> Shop locally. I told you about embracing the freezer. You can put berries, peppers, squash. You can dice up your sweet potatoes, dice up your potatoes, and put them in the freezer bags and just throw them in a pan with a little olive oil and cook them right up. <coughs> also, have some no prep foods like white albacore tuna, salmon in a can. Now sardines, I don't eat sardines, and you know why? Because I never have. I might love sardines, but just the visual of sardines. Now is there anyone here who wants to marry sardines? Uh, one person. Can you see me afterwards and tell me what you like about them? Because they're so good for you, so I, I might have to try them just to see and ditch the perfectionist mentality. Do the best you can. I say to people, try to be good three or four days, I say good, try to eat healthy, move more three or four days a week, because what happens is they do great for one day. I did great, I did great. Oh, I'm not doing great, forget it, I'll do great next week. And then that whole cycle <laughs> begins again. Also, here's another article that's similar, but some other tips. Cook once, eat two or three times. If you do not like leftovers, I tell you to get over it. Get over it. Be creative. Because if you don't want to eat it the next day, we have refrigerators. We're so spoiled. We think if you make something on Sunday, if you don't eat it by Tuesday, it's too old. We think, oh, it's too old. We made it Sunday. Food does not spoil that quickly. And what, if you leave it on the counter, maybe, in a 90-degree day, or if you don't like leftovers, when you make a lot, freeze it, and then the next time you eat it, it won't be a leftover, because it's the first time you ate it in a while. <laughs> also, breakfast in one and a half minutes. So many people are eating the donuts still. I'm amazed, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that you say to me, Ellen, I had two donuts for breakfast, because it means you're honest. You're honest writing down your donuts. But I don't understand how a, a weight loss program and donuts go hand in hand. I, I, I did Google the donut diet and there is not one. So there is not a donut diet. So I say make egg beaters, egg whites, even eggs. Egg has got a bad rap. It's not bad for your cholesterol. What's bad for your cholesterol is all that high fructose corn syrup, all those car uh, simple com carbohydrates. Have oatmeal, farina, wheat tina, have it done the day before, have it done the night before. And a lot of people like shakes. I don't like shakes, the healthy shakes, because it's not enough for me. I drink the shake and I'm like, 
Peggy Lee, is that all there is, my friends? Then let's keep dancing. I, it's just not enough. Uh, I want something to chew. I want blueberries. I want egg beaters with broccoli. I want some hot sauce at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yum, yum, yum. Don't, so if you like shakes, fine. But don't have a shake and then say, well, yeah, I had that 500 calorie shake, but now I'm going to have a 300 calorie bar and a donut. You know, that's when you got to be careful. Also, eating when traveling. So many people think, I'm traveling, i got to buy snacks for the car. Is that a rule? Does someone say, you take a road trip, you got to have snacks for the car? And then if you say, well, it shuts the kids up, does that mean you have to eat it too? Also, dinner. We need to, Bob and I love dinner. We talk, we laugh, we share our days, we connect. We always say grace, always. We go to a restaurant, we always say grace. Just because you're in a restaurant, I mean, you don't have to go, excuse me, everyone, could you join hands with me, please? Bless us, oh, Lord, no. But the two of you can say, Lord, thank you for this food. Have a ritual. I'm going to stop right there, Bob.